Project L will be an assist-based fighter. You'll build and pilot a team of two different champs. We feel like this is the right foundation to build a game that rewards strategic team building and on-the-fly decision-making on top of strong fighting fundamentals. Our goal is to build a game that delivers a fast-paced, dynamic combat fantasy while leaving plenty of room for you to be creative and express yourself in gameplay. Like a lot of you out there, we're inspired by the insane outplays, hard reads, and 200 IQ plays behind some of the most iconic moments in fighting game history. The dream for us is to deliver a game that allows you to create new iconic moments for many years to come. Now let's talk about controls. I know that a lot of you have strong opinions about mechanical difficulty in fighting games. For Project L, we're embracing the easy to learn, hard to master mentality. So yes, we are making it easier to jump in with a new character and learn their basic kit. That said, we absolutely believe in rewarding the time you spend going deep on a character and providing opportunities for you to showcase your high-end mastery. One of the delights of fighting games is seeing top players move and fight in a way that's inspiring and distinct from lesser skilled players. We want to set that aspirational summit and build a steadily increasing difficulty curve to get you there. Character design, of course, plays a huge role in this. For characters, our goal is to deliver on the iconic moves that League champions are known for, but adapted to work in a fighting game. We want our champs to have powerful, flexible kits that give you the freedom to play your character your way. As an example, I'm thrilled to introduce you to Echo, re-envisioned for Project L. Echo is a punk genius. He's a brilliant inventor who, through time manipulation, can rewind his own mistakes and stay one step ahead of his opponent. The centerpiece of Echo's kit is his Chrono Strike. It's a forward-moving slash that's a pretty good poke and a combo ender. When Echo slashes with Chrono Strike, he generates an after image that he can rewind back to any time in the next few seconds of the match. You can use the rewind to double down on your first slash, or make a different choice, and branch into a high committal launcher. Echo works just fine as a mid-range zoner, but he really comes online when you take full advantage of the rewind ability. He can vary the timing of the rewind to mix up his opponent, recover for assist attacks made by his teammates. And in the right hands, rewind can also be a strong combo extender. And then there's Timewinder, Echo's Time Grenade. Timewinder works great for basic zoning and combos. The real payoff comes when you're able to throw Timewinder from range, giving it a chance to charge up and explode into a time distortion field that slows Echo's opponents for the next few seconds of the match. For both of these moves, our approach is to give you a tool with a clear primary role with lots of potential for extra utility when you use it in the right situation. 